What's up, Uke family? Welcome back to another video. Let me show you how to play a Celtic melody on a tenor ukulele tuned in high G. The melody is quite intermediate level, so I'm also going to show you a way to simplify it. I'm going to play the example and then I'll tell you everything about it. We can break down Celtic Suite into four different sections or four different movements. Now the movement number one and two will be also simplified. Section three and four, we can't really make it easier to play, so you'll have to play it just as it is. Let me just uh, show you the first section, which is this one. As you can see, there is quite a lot going on, especially melodically and rhythmically. We're also using a nice picking technique. So how do we simplify this? Well, let's just remove um, the hammer-ons and pull off and we can play the melody like this. This is definitely much easier to play. The melody is mainly played on one string, the top A string, and we have it on fret number two, zero, two, three, zero, and five. Then we have five, three, two, zero, and then we have two, zero, three, zero, two, and three. Really nice melody. Now for the original arrangement, we're gonna add something called hammer on and pull off. So once we play the fret number two, we're gonna hammer the fret number three, and we're gonna pull off this note back to the fret number two. So, then we have zero, two, three, and we're gonna pull the string off. So between three and zero, instead of plucking twice, we're only gonna pluck the fret number three, we're gonna pull the string off, and we go to fret number five. Now, once we have the fret number five, we're gonna play this note three times with ring, middle, and index. So it's kind of a super short tremolo. And then we keep going with the melody. So it's three, two, and zero. And then we go back to the fret number two. And we have the same uh, hammer on and pull off. So pluck fret number two. And we have fret number three, two, zero. Then we have the fret number three, zero, two, and three. So when I put the whole thing together, I'm gonna play the simple version and then the original version so section two is really my favorite i love it it sounds like this
Now there is a little bit more going on at the end of this uh, section, but let's just learn this melody. So we are getting rid of all the rhythmic embellishments. We are playing the fret number three, five, zero, zero, and two. Nice melody. Now we're gonna play the fret number two one more time. And then we have this melody starting on the first string. It's four notes, we have zero, two, zero, and three. And then we finish with the second string open. Two, three. We also have to add a few more notes to end this section. So we have... So the melody goes up from fret number three to first string and fret two. Then we go back to the second string, fret number two and three. So when we put the whole thing together, it is quite simple. Again. The original arrangement sounds like this. So it's quite similar. We do have more rhythmic uh, variations here. So we're going to play the second string and then the first string three times, always with this short tremolo. So ring, middle and index on just one string. Then we have the second string, I like to use the thumb here, a pull off with the second string open, third string open, and the fret number two. Now we're going to put down the second string, the fret number three, and we have the same short tremolo on the second string, this is a little bit more challenging. Then we have the thumb on the third string, and then we have the melody. So zero, two, pull off, and the second string, fret number three. Now, we have a simple melody, which is this one. But we're going to embellish this melody with the third string as well. So... So it's all open strings. Two and two. And the fret number three on the second string. We're going to add a, a few passing notes. Second string, fret number two, pull off. And the second string, fret number three. Then we're going to play the melody like this. Which is a beautiful thing to play. We have two notes, um, second string, fret three, and third string, fret number four. We are PGA this melody and then zero and fret number two and fret number two and fret number three we'll go back to zero and zero on the second and third string two and two and we finish with the fret number three We're going to repeat that one more time. Now section three and four will be way faster to play even though I have to say they're rhythmically less challenging than section one and two. So in a way they're easier to play. 
we can't really make them simple since you know um, we have to learn them just the way they are. Now, section three is pretty interesting and very simple to memorize since we are mainly playing just two chords. So it's very simple. We have the G major chord and we're gonna pluck the fourth and the first string simultaneously with thumb and ring. Pull off on the first string. So we're gonna play the first string open with the pull off. Then we pluck second, third, second, and the first string open. Then we do fret number two, pull off, second string, and then we strum a C major chord. Very easy. We do the same thing again. This time we're gonna arpeggiate the chord all the way up to the first string and then we play the fret number two and the fret number two on the third string. Now we're gonna end this section, it's very simple. Same G major chord, C major, and then we have very simple melody. Uh, we play the fourth string and the first string fret two simultaneously. Pull off, fret number three, first string open, three, two, and we finish with with the A G major chord. Section four is the climax. We're gonna be playing love notes. However, the uh, section is rhythmically very simple. Uh, there's nothing going on rhythmically, but we do play a lot of notes. It sounds like this. We can break down the melody into two different sections. So we have zero, zero, two, three, and then we repeat the same thing. Now, the third time we're gonna keep going with the melody. So we have two, zero, and three, zero, three, and zero. Then we have three, zero, and two, and then zero, two, and three. When I put the whole thing together slowly, now we're going to repeat the same thing. But we're going to change the uh, last few notes. We're only going to play the fret number three, zero, and two twice. Now the melody is pretty much the same, so we're going to repeat the same thing one more time. We're just going to change the uh, two notes here. We're going to play zero, three, five, and zero. Now the cool thing is that we can add the uh, second, the third string, sorry, fret number two. which is gonna give way more color to the melody. And this is how it's going to sound. We finish 
with the G major chord. Not the most simple thing to play and learn, but it's absolutely a nice melody. I love it. And I think, you know, section two and four are, you know, for me, the uh, nicest things to play. It's rhythmically not that simple, I have to say. I have to admit, I had to practice this thing quite a lot. And uh, I went through a few recording sessions before I was actually able to, you know, nail the thing. But take it step by step, and you can start with the section that you like. Everything is in one video, but you know, uh, make sure that you take it step by step. Start with the section that you like, a section that is doable for you, and then hopefully you can complete this suite. And also, guys, make sure that you check the Patreon page if you want to get the tabs. Uh, you will find the uh, simple as well as the original uh, tab. So I'm going to be to practice this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.